It's a rare type of bone cancer that develops in the cells of cartilage. For patients with unresectable or metastatic disease, there are no effective treatment options, causing an urgent need for the development of therapeutic options. We'll visit the Sarcoma Oncology Center to learn more, but first, let's meet Peter, whose optimistic outlook is helping him fight his rare disease. We're going behind the mystery of chondrosarcoma. I was uh, born in uh, Scandinavia. I got my master's and PhD in uh, applied mathematics. Met my wife, who is uh, American, and uh, I moved to the United States, where I've been working in the software industry. I was uh, on vacation, and uh, I simply noticed um, a small bump on my uh, on my chest. Uh, nothing that I really thought was quite serious. I thought I had stressed the muscle. And it was not before we, we came back that I then got uh, to a doctor. The x-ray quite quickly showed that, that it was cancer. We did a biopsy and uh, out of that found that it uh, was a chondrosarcoma. It was becoming clear that it, it was serious. I was still looking at it, something that uh, we, would, we would simply overcome. Very important was also that uh, my wife took it uh, very positively and took it very much in the same direction. We are going to solve it. The Balancing Act traveled to Santa Monica, California to meet with oncologist Dr. Sant Chala to understand more. Chondrosarcoma is a very rare cancer. It will make less than 0.001% of all the cancers. Chondrosarcoma originate from cartilage, usually occurs in the long bones. It is in the pelvic bone or proximal femur, but it can occur in other bones as well. So after surgery, as far as we could tell, it, it had not spread at this point. It was only in the original location. Most of the disease was actually removed. Um, so we started discussing about whether I should uh, take radiation. I read up on it as much as I could. The literature was really not was really not very positive about this actually having an effect. But on the other hand, I might regret not trying at least to just stop it right at that point. Important enough to that I, I uh, went ahead with it. So when the patients have chondrosarcoma, they usually present with the pain, swelling, and bump in the body. Doctors will do a X-rays or CT scan or MRI scans. Then the doctor will refer to orthopedic oncologist who specialize in sarcomas, then the biopsy is done. Biopsy is the definitive proof of chondrosarcoma, and then biopsy will also tell us what kind of chondrosarcoma, what grade, and what treatment needs to be done. We uh, went for a couple of years where I was hoping that we would never see it again. Unfortunately, after about two years, um, we saw something coming back again. It uh, uh, spread to uh, my lungs, it spread to my spine, spread to my skull on my head. And uh, we had uh, multiple surgeries and we had uh, another round of uh, radiation on my skull that we actually did uh, to try to keep it down. Chondrosarcoma has been a very difficult disease for medical oncologists to treat. Primary treatment is surgery. The type of surgery will depend where the tumor is. Chondrosarcoma is considered chemotherapy resistant. Unfortunately, radiation therapy again does not work in chondrosarcoma. If the tumor has spread elsewhere, like lungs and other areas, the prognosis with the standard treatment is poor. Standard chemotherapies do not work or standard immunotherapy do not work. And there is a dire need 
for newer treatment for these chondrosarcoma patients. Despite many attempts by multiple pharmaceutical companies over the past few decades, there remains no effective treatment options for people with unresectable or metastatic chondrosarcoma. So with uh, no standard of care for um, metastatic uh, chondrosarcoma, I started a clinical trial that we did and uh, the result of it uh, unfortunately was not as positive as we had hoped for. It was for some time slowing down the cancer, but it uh, wasn't stopping it. At that point in beginning of 2020, I really, I couldn't function anymore. I, uh, I knew that I needed another option. More behind the mystery when we return. Welcome back. Let's go back to Peter's story. So I went to uh, an expert and pointed to that uh, there were something that was potentially promising that uh, was coming up. So um, I said, yes, I mean, immediately let's, let's um, if it's something I can sign up for, let's, let's try it out. Dr. Charles' clinic was one of the clinics that were participating. So I went through the, um, all the steps with Dr. Charles' office to make certain that I was el eligible. I started being functional again, and more importantly, being able to do things with my wife. We as cancer patients, I mean, we need to remember that also, that it's really hard on, on our family. Um, we need to remember that. In Hibrix, a clinical stage biotechnology company is dedicated to helping people with life-threatening conditions. They're developing a therapeutic option for chondrosarcoma called INBRX109, which is currently in clinical trial. Now, based on the seriousness of this disease and the unmet medical need, the FDA granted INBRX109 fast track designation for conventional chondrosarcoma with the hopes of accelerating its development. So we doctors who treat these rare situations are obviously in difficult uh, situations and obviously patients are in dire need. And so we are looking newer ways to treat and newer clinical trials to make this tumor more sensitive and more effective to treat. And just only recently, we have been able to get few leads which are very promising in chondrosarcoma. For somebody like me, it gives a perspective of that we have limited time, which we don't think as much as about um, when, we, when we don't have diseases, when we do, that we should really make certain that every day is the, we get the most out of it um, and we are the happiest that we, we can actually and we make the people around us as happy as we can. For more information on chondrosarcoma, visit inhibrix.com and you can always check out our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> 